peace be upon you today we are going to have a look at Zubuntu 12.04 which is currently in beta and which will release with all the Ubuntu derivatives on 26th of April 2012 so first let us go to okay okay this is nice <laughs> you know I set it up because it is awesome let's close it and you know it is true but let's close it for a moment this is the Zubuntu site <coughs> Zubuntu.org so Zubuntu is an uh, elegant and easy to use the operating system Zubuntu comes with the XFC desktop environment which is highly configurable and lightweight the minimum requirements for Zubuntu now don't hold me to it but it's 256 MB RAM and then uh, 300 megahertz processor or above that if you have a better machine will run fine no problem with that as I said countdown to 2.12.04 8 days left so actually this site has been updated lately and the, there is the new branding and let's go to the uh, brand new uh, where it says about the new branding so this is the new branding this is the new Zubuntu logo and this is the new wallpaper so actually it's nice the new wallpaper is nice by default XFC setup that Zubuntu provides is that you have your top panel and you have your bottom panel that is set to be transparent and then it acts like a dock and actually but it is a panel on which applications and uh, certain launchers have been created and it works really well <coughs> let's go and have a look at the applications menu at the top you have your web browser that is your default web browser Firefox your mail reader provided is your Thunderbird then you have your settings now you may notice there are multiple entries of Bluetooth over here and then similarly if you if we go away accessories there are multiple entries of screenshot now why is that actually I have installed the Zubuntu desktop on my existing Ubuntu 12.04 machine so it is a pretty simple thing to do all you have to go is go to the software center <coughs> and then type in Zubuntu dash desktop and then you can easily install it from here so that is why you see multiple entries because one Bluetooth uh, manager is from the Ubuntu really, really install and the another one is from the Zubuntu install now similarly if you want the KDE setup that is Kubuntu all you have to do is type in Kubuntu and then you can get that and install it on your existing machine so all the flavors of Ubuntu the official derivatives you can easily try them on so our brother is online and I will show you the default instant messaging client pigeon in a moment and accessories you have run program that is for use for running programs and stuff and then you have your additional in, in settings use your basic settings and application finder which you can use to find the application for example if I want to run Firefox I can simply click it and run it from here so pretty simple thing then Artha I have installed it as you see it's from a previous machine a previous install of Ubuntu 12.04 file manager the default file manager of Zubuntu is the default XFC file manager Thuna it is a lightweight file manager works really well the only thing that I find missing in this is that there is no tab browsing and I am uh, really uh, fond of you doing brow browsing in tab manner so you, if you want to do open you have to open a new window and there is no option for tabs but uh, other than that it works really fine then leaf pad is, is your default text editor notes is your xfc notes works fine takes notes so this is nice
other than that you have oraj for your global time and stuff then screenshot let's see this is your uh, xfc screenshot thing i suppose it is let me sh see the other one yeah this is from the ubuntu install and then terminal emulator that's your xfc terminal em emulator tomboy is for t taking notes and uh, application that i really like and you can install it from the software center xf burn is your for your cd and dvd burning and you have your games viewer dasura you can easily install from the dasura side you have your document viewer gimp is provided in ubuntu gtham is provided in ubuntu image viewer is from the ubuntu install libreoffice draw is from the ubuntu install restrato image viewer is provided by ubuntu and then symbol scan in internet Firefox is your default web browser as I have told you earlier. Then you have Pigeon which is your default instant messaging client and then transmission for your to torrenting and stuff and XChat IRC for your X IRC and stuff. Thunderbird for your mailing. Let's open up Pigeon and see how everything is functioning. So let me quickly say hi to Blaine and see. I hope it I think he is away. Actually, I wanted to show you guys the new notification system of Ubuntu. Uh, like in U Ubuntu 11.10, the notification system was kind of not to the level that they have implemented now, which is pretty s similar to uh, Ubuntu 12.04. So let's see if anybody sends me a notification. Mm-hmm, 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 instant messaging client pretty simple to set up it works really well has in been integrated in your messaging menu i'll come to that in a bit and then we have we were internet i have covered in multimedia your g music audacious i have installed brazero is from the ubuntu install g music browser is your default audio player then payroll is your default video player pulse audio volume control for your volume controlling stuff in ubuntu and then all, all the rest of the stuff is from the Ubuntu install. In Office, you get Abbey Word for your document and stuff. So just quickly, let us. See how it's working on. Works real fine. So you know all the Ubuntu releases that is Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Zubuntu, and Lubuntu. <laughs> People say I break into a song, <laughs> but <laughs> that's how it, I say it. Uh, coming out 26th of April. This font is amazing. I, I really know it is very well. I hope you like it. Then you have numeric for your spreadsheet and stuff now let's have a look at i think i've covered everything system you have your basic system and stuff synaptic package manager is provided by default in ubuntu and then your update manager i will show you software center is provided in in ubuntu install so let's come to the bottom panel you have show your desktop over here uh, for example uh, we can use it to come show the desktop then you have a web browser your mail reader chromium you can easily add uh, applications to the, this panel for example if i want to add uh, let's see if i want to add uh, restart over here all i have to do is pick it up okay let's put vlc over here So you can easily add it. Then, if you want to move it, you can move it along nicely. 
terminal works fine the theming of Zubuntu is also excellent now I have not made any changes in the default setup so you have your icons over here that I have kept for the demonstration purposes of the to show you guys what the default install looks like but you can easily turn it, them off from here uh, sorry desktop settings so off they go now looks much better I just told you they are the dual wallpapers available in the 12.04 release so this is the zoom to precise right and then the left also if you are noticing something the applications menu is also in the when you right click on the desktop you get the application menu here now if you don't want it to be present over here like one is enough for you you can simply turn it off from menus and then it's the done and let me show you the default video player payroll this is also a nice thing you have your file manager quickly set up in the bottom panel so if I want to go to any of my folders I can simply jump it from here so let's open brother mark shuttle wealth over here okay this is movie player sorry <laughs> payroll yeah so this is payroll works well Hope you can hear some of his words. He's an awesome person. I really suffer. like him. You can easily find these videos on YouTube. Do check Revolution OS because it's an excellent movie, and you'll learn a lot about Linux from that. Now it comes to the customization part. You have to. Okay, first let me mention the top panel and the indicators over there. Now from here you can lock screen, suspend, hibernate, reboot, shutdown, logout then this is your workspaces works fine this is your time and date yeah. by default the time comes in a 12 24 hour format but you can easily configure it like I'm using the 12 hour format then these are your indicators network messaging menu see you know, chat is from sorry for the disturbance sorry for the disturbance it's early over here and some kids are going along on the street so chat is the empathy uh, that's from the Ubuntu install broadcast is Google that's also from the Ubuntu install pigeon I've already shown you and Thunderbird you already know Ubuntu one is also provided in Ubuntu and this is your sound menu you can set your sound from here okay this is the way notifications comes up oh sorry so you actually see it now pretty unintrusive and really great and they and I really like it, what they have done all your audio players get integrated to the sound menu so it works well and here you can see my beautiful voice or is it beautiful I don't know how <laughs> it depends how you do you like it or not let me show you the default image viewer also so this is the default image viewer works well works well so let's go to some change some theme here of Zubuntu I'm actually liking Zubuntu quite a bit I actually like Zoo XFC from a great time let's like Bluebird which is also an excellent theme option and then here you have it you can change your icons from here your fonts and other settings that are available it's really simple you know what says panel you can change the panel you can see the red highlighting over here I believe so it means you are right now uh, able to configure this panel if you go to panel 2 you will see highlighting over here that means you are able to configure that panel you change the startup session and everything and all in all that's excellent if you want more workspaces you can add workspaces over here two works fine for me at the present moment 
So Ubuntu 12.04 is shaping to be an excellent release because Ubuntu 9.10 was excellent and I hope you guys like it when it releases on 26th of April and hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.